Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a first impression and this is going to be one of the new palettes from Melt. I bought them both. So Vida and Muerta, Life and Death, Live or Dead. I guess I cannot speak like a single word Spanish. Um, so these are the palettes and I am going to start with one of them and I'm going to start with the Vida palette. Um, I just wanted to say it like this, it's like the most coolest packaging ever, I really love this and yeah, this is first impression and I will see when the other one comes up but I wanted to start with this one. So this is the Vita palette and it looks like this, I love how this look and first I was like I'm not going to buy these palettes but then I saw video of the video and more pictures on them and I was like I want them so I bought these from Beauty Bay I think they are still available maybe not I will not promise but this were their holiday collection I don't know but then I have heard <laughs> some bad reviews on it so I don't know what I am going to think about these. So we just get started and I think I know exactly what I want to do with this. This is 10 pen palette and it goes from green to red and I really like it and this is the first palette that I for Melt. I have two stacks but this is the first palette and this just looks amazing so I think we just hop into this. Okay, so I think I know what I want to do. I think I want to do two different eyes because I want to use the green ones and I want to use the red ones. So I'm thinking about doing one red and orange eye and one green and like yellow eye. I'm not sure but I think I will do that and I think I will try to do somewhat the same on the eyes just with different colors and I think it would be really cool to use both of the palettes and do one eye with the Vida palette and one with the Muerte palette, but I don't know. Okay, I'm going to do this eye red and orange and this green. So here I will start with this one, Soul. I have heard that these are a little bit hard to blend. And it feels like people think that this Vida palette is harder to work with than the Muerte. Muerte? I don't know. But this color, this is good. And I'm always so nervous when I buy a palette and I hear bad reviews on it. That I am going to <laughs> regret buying it. And if you didn't know, in Sweden we cannot return makeup. We can only return it if it's like something wrong with it. If it's maybe a bad batch or if it breaks like... Um, if the palette gets destroyed but we cannot change it just because we don't like it. Um, if you have tried it you can't return it. Only if it's something wrong with it. Okay, so I have no troubles at all with this shade and I don't know if I'm going to do first this eye and then the other eye or if I should do like the same on both. Okay, I think I will do this eye finished first and then go in on the other eye. So this orange I really like and if you don't know that about me, I love orange. Orange is my favorite. Okay, I don't know if that I, the thing I want to do is going to work, but I am at least going to try to do it. So I will go in with Mexicana and also Allergia. Sorry. Um, this eye, and I will take Mexicana, the red one, to put it on my lid out here and hello you I 
I <laughs> this is good such a nice red and so easy to blend I really like this and I took it too far in and they lay on top of the soul shade really really good this I really really like so I will go in with the shimmer orange Allergia I have never known like any words in Spanish other than like hola Como estas? <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering that language. And I also know the word aquí. That means here. This was a really nice shade. But I think it needs a little bit packing on. To really got that like shimmer effect. It feels like it has a really strong orange base to it. Do I look a little bit crazy? Yes, I do. I can see that I do, so you don't have to tell me that I do look a little bit crazy cr right now. And it feels like I maybe to get a little bit too high in my inner corner, so I will go in with Soul again. And just take it up here and I uh, usually don't have my brows on when I do my eye makeup which you may have seen if you have seen my other videos where I put on makeup I usually put them on when I do my base but now I have them on so okay, maybe I took it a little bit too high but I really like those two together and it is a shimmer but it's not like in your face shimmer it's maybe a little bit toned down i don't hate it i don't and okay i think i am finished with this eye so let's just go over to the other eye okay so for the other eye i'm going to start with amor eterno i don't know how to like say it in with a spanish accent i'm so sorry and okay I'm always a little bit nervous when I'm trying a yellow because you never know with yellow. It can be really really intense. It usually isn't. And it usually like loses a little bit intensity. And like gets a little bit dull. And I think this is pretty okay yellow. I have nothing to complain about this yellow. It's not the best yellow I have ever tried, but it's not the worst either, so I have nothing to complain about. And now I am not that nervous anymore to use this palette. <laughs> this was one, like, I was so nervous. Annette um, from Annette's Makeup Corner, she did a first impression with this palette. I know she loves the other one. Then she did a first impression on this one and I like started to watch it and I was like no I don't want to watch it before I ever tried my palette so because she didn't seem to be so happy about that in like the thumbnail so I didn't want to go in like to this palette without <laughs> I wanted to go into this palette without her opinion if we say it like that I trust her, I do, uh, and that's why I didn't want to see her video before I tested mine out. So okay, now I don't know because I want to use these two, but I want to have the shimmer on the same side. And it feels like this is darker than this, but I actually think I will take this on the outer corner. And then this in the inner corner, and if this looks too strange, if this is like too light to have on the outer corner of my eye I will go in with maybe this one just to deepen it down but I will try to do that because I don't want to have shimmer matte and here matte shimmer no I don't so I go in with papel picado 
sorry. All of you that know Spanish, I'm so sorry, but one thing I like to do... Ooh, this was good. One thing I think is fun is when me as a Swede like look at people that are not Swedish that are walking into IKEA because IKEA has the same name on everything in this shade. I love this. Uh, they have the same name on their furniture and all the other stuff around the whole world and they are all Swedish things. Either places or just like names or things and one thing I notice is that people cannot pronounce it and for me it's a little bit funny. So if I can't pronounce things in Spanish it's because I can't speak Spanish at all. Okay, this. One thing I don't like it's how it the shade that it's get like here where it's over the yellow one but like on the lid I really like this but it's maybe good it's get a little bit darker over the yellow one I like the effect but it's not like I'm not super thrilled about it but I'm not mad at it at all so okay now I'm going to in with Now I'm going in with this one. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. The brush doesn't pick it up as much as it did with the orange one. I think, but okay. okay it doesn't. The orange was a little bit easier to work with. That was a cat. The orange was definitely easier to work with. This is like... I have it on my brush but it doesn't want to stick to my eye as good as the orange and maybe this was a net problem. When I do my base I think I'm going to watch her video and see what she didn't like with this palette but I don't know if it's hard pen on this. But it doesn't feel like this in the orange. If I just look at them, the orange look a little bit more smooth than this. Maybe now I haven't got any glitter glue or something under it, but either way, the orange was so much easier to work with than this is, but... It's nothing impossible, but I think with maybe glitter glue or spraying the brush, this is going to work better. But you still, you can see it, but it's not easiest. Like the blend between these two are so much better than this one. But I think I will go in with the light green. And try to blend them together like that instead. Are maybe a little bit harder to blend it together. It's so, so much smooth, smoother here than on this eye. I think I, I can live with it but it's just my first impression of it that this one was a little bit easier to work with. It feels like the most of the shimmer it covered by the light green one. Feels like the shimmer is... I'm brushing away the shimmer with this one. I don't know. What is up? Okay, I think I have to go like this. I don't think I can do anything more about it. I think this is just the way it is. Or maybe I can go in a little bit with... It doesn't want to blend together as I want it to. And I didn't have the problem at all on the other eye. And it feels like all the shimmer is like disappearing. I don't know if you can see it. But okay, I will have it. What did 
does look a little bit patchy. But also a little like disclaimer, this eye is pretty dry. It's not as dry as it, is, as it has been, but it's not like my best. It's not living its best life. So if it looks patchy, it can be for my eyelid being a little bit dry. But okay, the blend is not perfect, but I think we just have to live with it. So I will go and take away the fallouts, fix my base, and they do a little more color to my brows, I think, at least out here. So I fix that, and then I come back and we do something with the under eyes, and then I will tell you my first impression with the Vita palette from Melt. So it's time for the under eyes, and I think we'll start with this, and I think I will take... The one that I had in my crease, this one, and then this one to just connect it with this. I don't want any shimmer. No, I do not. And then I go in with the red one, and I, when I took away my fallout, I accidentally. I will try to fix that little gap as well. Now I'm just wondering for my waterline if I'm going to take maybe green here and red here. Or orange. And I will take these two under this eye. Can you see anything? Maybe not. Okay, and then I will try to put the green one. I just thinking maybe this is going to lock, uh, lock, look not that good because it went so dark when I took it up in my crease and I guess it will do the same down here. Maybe not. So I think like this, and now it's just with my waterline. Do you want to switch it up or keep it the same? I will see. So I will put something in my waterline, put on mascara and try to choose a lipstick for this. And then I will be back and a little first mini review with the Vita palette from Melt. So this is the finished look for my eyes. I switched so under, um, under... In my wash line on this eye, I, uh, I have Electric Daisy from Colourpop and under in this wash line I got Unz from Colourpop. On my lips I have one of my absolute favourite lipsticks which is Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood. I just love it. So this is my finished first impression with the Vida palette and I love this eye. This is... The red was amazing, the orange was so good, the shimmer was good. On this eye, I really love the yellow and the green I have out here. I am not super thrilled about this shimmer I have here. If you compare it to this, I don't know what to point with. <laughs> this shimmer was so much better than this. A little bit iffy with that because it's only two shimmer in this palette and I have used them both and this is so big I don't know how to hold it when I'm talking about it maybe like this can I bend this yes I can so this shimmer was so much better than this I think this with maybe either to spray your brush or glitter glue can be really really good but it's like this it was okay, but it was not like, oh my god, this is such a good shimmer. And this was. The other colors I tried, I've tried these two, this one, and these three. All the other was good. Um, I really like this one. It became a little bit darker when I took it in my crease, but like on the lid, I really like it. So it's going to be fun to play with this more and I'm so looking forward to using the Muerte palette. And I I don't know what I want to do with this browns. This one looks pretty interesting. It looks a little bit like an olive. 
undertone I don't know and also to play with this I am happy with this palette I love the color story even though it is some browns I am okay with it and that I really like it and I think they put the shadows really good I like that it's go from red brown and then to green so yeah and the palette also has a good mirror like it and it feels really luxurious the palette it's pretty heavy and the flowers on um they're like plasticky and they are and it is the same on the back which i love because it feels like some brands they do the front perfect uh, but the back is not so the palette gets 10 out of 10 points i love the palettes so my first impression is good is it the best palette i have ever tried no do i like it yes i do will it be fun to play with it more yes it will the only thing they have some kick up the shadows but i think the palette is not going to be hard to keep clean so yeah i am really happy with this palette and it's going to be so fun to test the other one so yeah i really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope i will see you in the next one bye